Welcome to Dovetail Games Bassmaster Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass, where you can experience the exhilaration of competitive bass fishing. Cool. Now that you're in your boat, have a look around and get comfortable. This boat will soon feel like your second home. Hey, you look like a pro already behind the wheel of that boat. Nice work. Let's find a spot where the bass are gonna be and start fishing. You can only get up on the deck and switch to fishing once your boat has slowed down and come to a stop. This spot looks good. This may be just the spot you've been looking for. When you're ready, let's make a cast. You see that thing dangling at the end of your line? That's called a lure, and it's a key bit of equipment to use to attract a fish. A lure can attract a fish at all times, but is far more effective when moving through the water during your retrieve. There are a few different retrieval techniques, but for now, let's start with the basics and perform a consistent retrieve. Do this by reeling in at a consistent rate. Retrieval movements mimic how prey and bait move through the water. Combine that with colors and materials of different lures, and you'll impact your chances of getting bites. You can also control how deep some lures move through the water by increasing or decreasing your reel speed. Don't get disheartened. You're not gonna get a bite on every retrieve. So cast out and retrieve again. Remember, the longer your lure is in the water, the better chance you have of actually getting a bite.
There we go. When a fish bites, you want to set the hook in the fish's mouth in order to give you the best chances of not losing that fish during the fight. Do this by performing a strike. A strike is performed by quickly pulling the rod up and away from the fish's location. But the timing of the strike is very important. Perform too early or too late, and you're at risk of losing the fish. But mastering this timing is something you will improve over time with practice. Great, now it's time to fight the fish. Once the hook has been set in the fish's mouth, it's going to do everything it can to get away from you. Your job is to make sure you bring it home. Initially, fish will dart, run, or thrash while trying to escape, which is going to put more tension on your line and hook until the fish either breaks free or runs out of energy. But we can combat that by relieving the tension during the fight. The tension system can be controlled through rod movements, reeling, reel speed, and the drag system, of course, to increase or decrease the line tension as needed. Remember, you're also at risk of losing a fish if the line tension drops too low, which commonly happens once a fish becomes fatigued. So be observant of how the fish is behaving throughout the fight, as being able to recognize when and how you need to increase or decrease the pressure during the fish fight will have you catching more fish consistently. So as you reel the fish closer to the boat, it's time to land the fish. If the fish's energy has been fully depleted once it's within grabbing distance, you can automatically land the fish. Otherwise, you can attempt to grab the fish and land the fish early. Grabbing a fish is all about the timing. When initiating the grab action, a landing icon will appear to indicate the timing you need to match to successfully grab and land the fish. Successfully grabbing a fish is a great way to land a fish faster, which can save you valuable time in a tournament. But it's also very risky, as failing to grab a fish will spook that fish and cause the fight to continue, putting you at risk of losing the fish. Nice catch. You'll be awarded points and experience for any fish you catch. But this little bank runner isn't even the species we came here to target. So let's release it and get back to fishing. Let's try a different equipment setup and see if we have better luck targeting bass. Your boat is equipped with multiple rods and reels, so you can have many different rods set up and ready to fish at a moment's notice. Open your inventory and let's see the rods we have in this boat. Different boats can hold different amounts of rods. The inventory screen shows all rod setups that are stored in this boat. You can see a list of all the rods, and when one particular rod is highlighted, it shows you the full breakdown of its setup. You can select and change any part of the rod setup using equipment you already own, or you can purchase new items and equip them. It's a great idea to have multiple different rod setups ready and waiting for use. That way you can quickly get your lure back in the water and change your tactics in a split second. For now, I have already set up another rod for you. Select the second rod and let's try again. <laughs> 